Uh, let's say, would you risk getting uh, ice cream for a paper cut? Oh, like, okay, say, yeah. Now I get it, yeah. yeah. But if you get the ice cream, you don't get the paper cut, or you can get the paper cut and have no ice cream. It's a 50-50 chance of getting either one. <laughs> Could you repeat the question? Hmm. So you don't quite understand, do you? It's kind of hard to grasp, isn't it? Well, let me explain to you in the most perfect example possible. Everybody likes dogs and cats, right, Taylor? Yes, people. Everybody loves dogs and cats. Well, let me inform you that two of them are about to die. Oh no. Oh no, indeed. What I'm trying to say is that with the power of the switch, you have a 50% chance to either save them or kill them. <gasps> and it's up to you. It's your ultimate responsibility to either press that switch or to not press that switch. Now, Taylor, what will you do? You press that switch! Mmm, isn't that great? Well, let me tell you how the results were. They totally, totally... They, they lived, they, they lived, right? They, they survived, they, they, win, they won the game. They won. They won. I'm happy to inform you that they let... No, they didn't. They, they died. No. Oh no, they died. Uh, <laughs> well, and it was all your fault, Taylor. Because the, that's how the game works. It's a 50-50% chance, and you got the raw end of the stick. How do you feel? You feel amazing. Because you pressed that switch, and that's how the game works, Aaron. So, just reconfirming, does everything make sense? I think so, yeah. Can you introduce our guest? Yes, today we have a special guest, and that special guest is Aaron. Hello, it's me. Great, okay, it's Aaron. Would you ha have the 50% chance of giving everybody a Christmas gift, or have the 50% chance of Christmas never existing? So, okay, here's my question in this process. What, who's everybody? Like, everybody in the world, like, everybody gets a present. <laughs> yeah, does it count as, like... Like, just your immediate friend group, or- and family, or is it like... It counts as the whole world. Everybody gets a Christmas <laughs> gift? I wanna give Christmas to everybody! So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I would get, like, basically giving Christmas gifts to everybody, but in the exact same process, Christmas might never exist at all. Yeah, I'm not pressing that button, sorry, Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a good enough person to press it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to agree. I don't... I don't know if I could risk my my two week holiday. It's like it's like playing Russian roulette with holidays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that makes sense. All right. So here here's my uh, my question this time. So, would you risk dying to have immortality? Oh yeah. Boy. Sure. Why not? I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Think about it. I mean, we would all die eventually anyway. So it's like, if you died early, that sucks. But. If you didn't, then you're immortal. But think of it like this. Like, maybe being immortal isn't that great. <laughs> and then you might be like, the whole world ended and blew up and stuff and you're just in space. But at the exact same time, you'll be like, the first winner to win life. You Dang. know? Dang. <laughs> I guess you won, so, boys. Ooh, wait, wait. I ha sorry, I have a question. What's your question? Would you, would you age, like, physically? Or would you stay, like, young and healthy? You would stay the exact same age that you pressed the button. Okay. Getting metaphorical here. <laughs> yeah, so... I don't see why you shouldn't. It, it'd, be, it'd be worth a try. And you basically win the game of life. Yeah. You you can still keep on going and eventually basically live. <laughs> but, yeah, but there's, there's so many like there's so many extras to that question. Like, what yeah. ifs? What ifs? Yeah. Well, that'd be something to find out when we do live forever. <laughs> you could literally become Batman, and like, you know, you wouldn't have to worry about dying and stuff. Yes, yes, because Batman cannot die. <laughs> <laughs> it's not physically possible for Batman to die. I mean, he survived a bomb, so you never know. Is that like the third movie or something? <laughs> <laughs> you can become Batman. That's like the one movie I didn't watch. <laughs> uh -oh. All right. Okay. I have another one here. So, we were talking about Batman earlier, so this doesn't really apply to him. Would you rather have, like, uh, superpowers, like Superman, whatever power you wanted, but in the process risk being in the vegetative state for the rest of your life? What? <laughs> 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 well, that's pretty, uh... 
Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Would it really be? Uh, actually, yeah, it would probably be pretty bad to be in a vegetative state for your whole life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. Terrible. So you can have like a superpower. You can have like telekinesis and all that like stuff, or you could be like a vegetable. Yes, exactly. Would you? Would you hmm. be like? Would you know you're a vegetable, or would you just kind of like still be brain dead? Yeah. I can make this so much worse, guys. How about this? You can you can be fully conscious in your non-moving body for the rest of your life, or you can have a superpower. Which one would you like? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not flipping that switch. That's too much of a risk. Like, you could be, like, amazing, but you can also be, like, not amazing. You'd be, like, amazing in a bed, you know? <laughs> that would be so cool to be able to have, like, your dream superpower, though. Yeah, it, it would be, but, it, you know, the exact opposite would be the one. <laughs> You lose a superpower, walking. <laughs> <laughs> you lose an ability. <laughs> uh. You lose all your basic functions, or you gain one. Alright, so what's the consensus for this one? <laughs> I don't think I'd flip the switch. I think, I think that I would not either. It's not worth it. I wouldn't want to be Superman, or... I could be Vegetable Man. <laughs> okay, okay, how about this? Because, like... This is about the same as that whole entire Im immortality thing, and you guys press the switch anyways, and you just die in that one. <laughs> yeah, but in this one you're like conscious. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one's conscious. You're right. Yeah, it's not as worse. It's, it's it, like if you're just sitting there conscious, you can't speak, you can't move, you can't walk. It. it I feel like that would kind of suck. It's pretty suck boring. More it's like out. worse than death. <laughs> it's worse than death. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a lot of things that are more worse than that. But okay. <laughs> Sorry to the people who are vegetables <laughs> out there. <laughs> <laughs> You're cruel. <laughs> All right, I, I I don't press the button. Okay. Uh, this next one would be, would you uh would you flip the switch to have really really good luck, or end up having really really bad luck? Wow, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> good luck or bad luck. Uh, <laughs> in my head, I was thinking he's like, would you really ha would you rather have really really good luck? And I said, I swear he's gonna say have really really bad luck. <laughs> But okay. Well, well, I mean, like, when, if you think about it, it, like, the way it would be, it would be like, Hey, look, I found a dollar on the ground. Oh, no, I found a hundred dollars. Oh, my gosh, I'm a millionaire. So, and, like, it gets progressively better. It's, like, it's, it's, like, really, really good luck. You live to, like, 150. <laughs> what the? <laughs> and then, like, b bad, bad luck. It's, like, instead of finding a dollar, you find, like, a hand. <laughs> and you're, like, the? you're, like, no, it's, it's gross. <laughs> find the hand and then the cops come and they're like you're under arrest yeah they think you committed murder <laughs> exactly <FBI. laughs> exactly <laughs> all right good point so see it, it was it's a bigger question than you thought it was huh and i really i already have really bad luck so i don't I, you know i press it <laughs> honestly yeah, i mean why not it's, yeah yeah why not i mean the worst that could happen is what's the worst oh yeah <laughs> the worst can Ooh, happen now yeah. <laughs> And here's the thing, you could also live to 150 with the bad luck too, because they would just prolong it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those thousands upon thousands of dollars of debt just will never go away. $90,000 debt. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh, you pass it to your children and your grandchildren. I like to think that, like, the good luck ha makes your cells attracted to not getting viruses. Uh, wait, wait a second, how <laughs> does that work? Yeah, what if you just never got sick if you have good luck? Yeah, just never get sick. Tilapia. <laughs> wow, it's a fish. Oh, well, that's all the time we have for today. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, thank you very much, Aaron. <laughs> Thanks oh, for joining thanks. us on this episode. Thanks uh, for having me. You don't own any social media, right? Uh, or, like, you don't have a YouTube or an Instagram or anything like that, right? <laughs> I have an Instagram, but it's not public. Great, then we won't put that in the description. Subscribe, <laughs> <laughs> it's great content. Good for your health. Good for your bones. Good for your bone density. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.